Hello, my name is Steve Royce with Crescent Design. Crescent Design has been in business for 25 years doing custom automation, production automation and automated test equipment, primarily for the medical industry. Recently there's been an increase in the use of nickel titanium in the medical industry and as a result we have designed, created our newest device called the automated salt bath. This device allows very repeatable, accurate and safe heat setting of nickel titanium using a temperature controlled molten salt bath and a water quench system. Uh, and later in this video you'll will show you how the system works and its various features and functions. Here are the various controls on the front panel of the ASB. You'll notice we have the emergency stop button at the top. There is another emergency stop button on the other end of the ASB. Heater power button allows the heater power to be turned on or off and shows it active with the light. We have over temp fault lights and the associated uh, monitors temperature monitors uh, shown here. The one on the left is for the actual heaters itself. This prevents the heaters in the furnace from over temping and damaging themselves. And this unit here is actually showing the actual salt temp and also the over temp limit of the salt. We don't permit this particular salt to go over 590 degrees C. We have the uh, Louis Little User Interface that allows interfacing, setting parameters, testing various components in the system, and an associated key panel that allows browsing and data entry into the different processes here. We have a reset button here which serves two functions. One, one is, as it says, a reset button. If you're in the middle of a heat cycle and you wish to cancel it, you hit reset and the system will automatically move it immediately to the quench and it will remain in the quench for the full quench cycle in order to ensure that the part is safe to handle at that time. It also provides access to the door which has a latch on it to prevent access uh, when unauthorized. So we can hit the press button and now we can open the door and close it. We have the start button which will illuminate green when it's possible to start the process. And the last items here are simple uh, indicator lights to show that the various voltages are available for the system. This is the user interface and the associated key panel used on the Crescent Design Auto Salt Bath. It uses uh, soft keys for entering, accessing information and entering data and processes. If the light is illuminated, then you may choose the various uh, choice on the screen. In this case, we're in the home screen, and I can browse the 10 different processes that this ASB can hold. So I'll press zero, and you'll notice here, the process zero is displayed with the salt temperature of 325, the heat time of 30 seconds, and the quench time of 15 seconds. If I wait 30 seconds, it returns to the home screen. I can always go back, and now I can cycle through them if I wish. And you'll notice process 1, 2, all the way up through 9, and then back to 0. I then hit the exit button, and I'm back to the home screen. This is the generic fixture for holding the product that you want to heat set. Now here we have a little part that I just found in the bin to represent the part that might be hanging. It could be a larger fixture with multiple parts on it, a longer fixture, the longer part with, uh, on it, doesn't matter. Um, and it serves two functions. Uh, it holds the part in the machine and this cover, as you can see, separates so that the cover comes down and encloses the salt bath and the water bath prior to the part actually reaching the surface. So that contains any of the splatter, salt or water, inside of the vessel to, tr to keep the inside of the ASB clean. Now I'm going to run a sample process. I'm going to start by choosing the process. Right here we have zero selected. I'm going to hit run. 
and now you'll, the screen is saying I'm running process zero. I need to hit reset to open the door, unlock the door. I open the door and then mount the fixture. Close the door, and now you'll notice that the green start button has illuminated. I'm now going to hit start to start the process. On the ASB, we've added a stainless steel filter in front of the exhaust fan in hopes of collecting a lot of the salt fumes prior to being exhausted. The filter simply pulls out, it can be washed easily, and then put back in and closed up. In order to provide ease of cleaning, for the interior of the ASB, we installed some easily removable stainless steel uh, drip pans and shields. We have a center piece stainless steel. We have the panel from the water quench side. and the panel from the salt side. They can be washed easily with water, dried, and then returned to the 